for point P divide the line segment joining point A and point B in ratio AP, PB. So the ratio is not given. Find the ratio obviously. And find the value K of each of the following. So we see here A. So we have AB right. So basically it doesn't matter. So you see here. If you see here this one is 1 and this one is negative 5 right. So actually. So from A to B. So the real one A to B is like this. So A to B. But then since we are going to use the formula. It doesn't matter. We just like basically draw a dummy one just so that you can see when you use the formula so a to b and you know that p is in the between so this one is 1k and this one is negative 5 10 so we know that this one is negative 1 2 so basically you just write like this just to know just so that you can see clearly when you uh, apply the formula but then if you want to draw like exactly a to b like this also Okay, I mean you will still get the same answer but then uh, it takes time for you to think uh, which is front and which is back. I mean this one also. Okay. So we don't know the ratio and this one is M. So, okay. This is very important. A, M, N is from A to B. So this one is M. So just now if you have A, B like this. So, make sure your M is first from A, it is M and this one is N. Okay. So, find the ratio. So, we see here to get P. So, we have P already, right? So, this one we have negative 1. So, 1, 1, 1. For X, we, all, we know we have all the formula. So, here for X, coordinate of P, which is negative 1, is equal to... So, uh formula is so the point so n x1 plus m x2 divided by n plus m so this one is n y1 plus m y2 divided by n plus m so basically what you need to do is that you have to cross so here this is 1 right so you have to cross multiply with the ratio of n so 1 multiply with n okay and then you take x because we are talking about x now. So this one is negative 5 plus negative 5. Don't forget negative. So you have to cross multiply with m. And then you have to divide with. The ratio is m plus n. You see here this one the formula. So just cross. It doesn't matter which one go first. Negative 5 m plus 1 n. Or 1 n plus negative 5 times n, you will still get the same answer. So this one is negative 1 is equal to n minus 5m divided by m plus n. So you bring at one side. So here you get negative 1, negative m times negative 1, you get negative m, negative 1 times n, you get negative m. I mean, okay, I'll just show you this one is negative 1 times m plus n. So basically this one and this one. So it's equal to n minus 5 m so you wanted to do ratio right so if you wanted to do ratio so what you need to do is that you have to bring uh, at one side so you bring 5m here negative m plus 5m is equal to so you bring n at one side so n negative n will become n so this one negative m plus 5m 4m is equal to 2m right so this one you can bring m, m and n at one side by dividing it. So you see here 4m is equal to 2n. So m divided by n is equal to so here you divide here right so this one you are left with 2 and then you bring 4 at one side. So here you get m divided by n is equal to 1 divided by 2 or m ratio to n is equal to 1 to 2. So we know that m is 1 and n is 2 we know that ratio of AP to PB is equal to 1, 2. So now, wanted to find the value of K. So now we can find what is our K. So we cross multiply. So the Y coordinate or, we see here the Y coordinate or, we know the coordinate is 2. So 2 is equal to, so cross multiply K, you cross multiply, multiply with 2, right? K times 2. Okay, you have 2 plus. And then you take this one, y2, you cross multiply with 1 plus, this one is 10 times 1 divided by, 
So the ratio is 1 plus 2. So 2 is equal to 2k plus 10 divided by 3. So 2 times 3 is 6 is equal to 2k plus 10. So here 2k is equal to, you bring at one side, 6 minus 10. So 2k is equal to negative 4. K is basically negative 4 divided by 2. So here you get negative 2. Alright. So B, okay, like I explained in A, it doesn't matter, just do A and B. This one is like a dummy one so that you can see when you use the formula. So this one is 1, 2, 2. So B is K to 6. And you see P is 3 to 4. You don't know the ratio yet. So this one is M and this one is N. So M, N start from, so we see here if A, B, that means start from A, M, N. I mean, if your A, B is another way around, so M is supposed to be here and N is supposed to be here. Okay. So we see here for Y, we have all the value. So we can apply the formula to get the ratio M to N. So we know that the value of Y, so the formula, we are going to get the division, which is this one. So for is equal to, so this one is actually x, y. So this one, y, using this formula. So we cross multiply. So we see here 2 cross with n. 2 times n. So we plus, and then here 6 cross with m. 6m. So divide with, we don't know the division, m plus n. Okay, so here we bring at one side 4, m plus n is equal to 2n plus 6m. So here 4 times m is 4m. 4 times n is 4n is equal to 2n plus 6m. So we bring at one side. So I wanted it to be positive. I bring it this side. So 6 minus 4 is 2m. And here we bring at one side. 4n minus 2n is 2n. So now we can bring m and n at one side. So, it doesn't matter n over m or m over n. So, we see here, if I bring m over n is equal to, so here, I mean, you can cut it. So, you get 1, 2, 1. So, here you get 1 and here you get 1. So, for b, so this one is b, never mind. So, a, p to p, b is basically, sorry, is equal to 1, 2, 1. So now we can find what is our so we can find what is our k. So our k is here. Using this one is x. You can use the formula to find x of the division. So this one is the formula of x. So basically this one you cross multiply. So 1 times 1. So we know that 1 times 1 plus. So this one, this one is equal to 3 is equal to 1 plus 1. 1 times 1, sorry, plus. So this one cross multiply. This one is k, right? k times 1 divided by 2. So 2 times 3 is 6. So 1 plus k. So k is basically, you bring at one side, 6 minus 1, you get 5. So this one, k is equal to 5. So here for c, so if you have a, b here, so we know that this one is k3, this one is 6, sorry, this one is 2a and then our p is somewhere in between. So this one is 6, 4. Okay, so we don't know what is the ratio, we just put n, m, n. m, n, n, sorry. So here, so here you see here, you already have y because you have all the three value of y then you can find what is your m and n okay so using this one y so here y is right here n y1 plus n y2 divided by n plus n and we know that our y is 4 so you have to cross actually it doesn't matter if you start from front here or back first as long as you cross so this one y right you take 3 you cross so that's me you have to multiply with the back ratio which is n so this one is 3 times n or n first plus so this one 
8, right? So you cross multiply with m. So this one is 8 times m divided by n plus m. So then you can bring at one side. So 4n plus m is equal to 3n plus 8m. So here 4n plus 4m is equal to 3n plus 8m. So here we bring at one side. So this one 4n minus 3n, right? 3 become negative. And this one 8m. You bring 4m become negative 4m. You so here you get n is equal to 8 minus 4 is 4m. So you want to do the ratio, right? So n divided by m is equal to 4 to 1. So you see here, this one n to m is equal to is equal to 4 to 1. But then here, the ratio of a p to p b, which means you have, you must have m first. So m n is 4 1 or m n is equal to 1 4. See, it's the same thing. So here, the ratio, since it won in the ratio of AP to PB, so we can say that AP to PB is equal to 1, 4. So now, you can find the K. So K is the X1 here. This is your K. So use this one. So X is equal to N X1 plus M X2 divided by N plus M. So our X here, the division one is K6, right? So this one, you see here N, this one is actually cross multiply. So this one K, you cross multiply, you multiply with N. So K times N or N times K also can. So plus, so for M, this one you have 2, 2 times M. So, 2 times m d. So, basically, this one is 4 and this one is 1. Okay, so 6 is equal to 4k plus 2 divided by 5. So, you bring at one side. So, 4k plus 2 is equal to 30. 4k is equal to 30 minus 2 is 28. And then, k is equal to 28 divided by 4. So, here you get 7. So, So D, here you have A, B, so you have A, you have B, actually you can also make it going down, doesn't matter. So this one is negative 3, negative 2, and B is 2, 8, and then we know that P is negative 1, K. So this one is M, N. So to use the formula, you see here, X and Y, you need to have all 3. Because if you don't have M and N, if you have all the three points you can find the ratio so you have all the x value so we know that x is equal to n x1 plus m x2 divided by n plus m so our x is negative one so this one actually you just cross multiply so this one you cross multiply that's me you you multiply with the opposite one which is n so you can also make n negative 3 also okay or negative 3 times n also the same thing plus so this one you cross multiply this one 2 times m this one is 2 m divided by n plus m so here you bring at one side negative n plus m because negative 1 is just negative right negative 3 n plus 2 m so this one you get negative n minus m is equal to negative 3 n plus 3n plus 2m, you sure? This one is 2m. 3n plus 2m. So, you bring at one side. So, I bring my n here because I wanted it to be positive. Negative n plus 3n is equal to 2m. So, you bring negative m, you have positive m. So, this one you have 2n is equal to 3m, right? So, you want to make it m divided by n so m divided by n is equal to so basically when you bring n to the right you are left with 2 and then this 3 you bring it to the left you have this one so m divided by n which is m 2n is equal to 2 to 3 so we can say that this one the ratio of ap to pb is equal to 2 to 3 
So we know that this one is 2 and this one is 3. So to find k, we use the same formula. So k is equal to, so this one is k, right? And we have another 2 point. So we just cross multiply. So negative 2 times 3, negative 2 times 3 plus, so this one is 8 times 2 divided by 3 plus 2. So this one is negative 6 plus 16 divided by 5. So negative 6 plus 16 is 10 divided by 5. So here we get 2. So k is equal to 2.